Tell me about this Mayfly nymph. Um, are you doing anything different as far as techniques and materials on this fly? Uh, ab absolutely. You see the tail is splitted, and this is something nice and not always very easy to do. But I, I got a trick that I will show you. Oh, nice. And uh, for the legs, I use a technique of mixing dubbing and CDC. Cool. On a nymph. So for that, I will take uh, a bead first. So you know, there is a lot of different technique of splitting the, the tail, and uh, it's described on many book, um, there are many pages, it shows you step one, step two, step three. And uh, when you do that, at the end, it's never like in the book. And on top of that, it's not so easy to do. I found a trick which is quite easy, is to use a little bit of floss, like this, that I will tie just right at the end of the hook pen, like this. You pull, you go one time under, and then come back here. Now, let me grab the Coq de Leon. Just take not too much, but more than two, eh? like this. Put them together, put it the other way around, and tie them together. And then what you do is, with your nail, you split like this, and you get this through. And as you see, you have a perfect split tail without any problem. That's a lot easier than a lot of the other methods that you described in the book. Yeah, and much quicker. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's happened that you have a little too many on one side, because you never count that you can always say, okay, there is one too much here and sure. you cut it. Trim one or two yeah. out on one side. But you see this is very precise and it works every time. Nice. Okay, so now for the body, let's take um, an olive uh, feather, then use the twister. Wrap, twist, wrap. This is, why do I do that each wrap? It's to avoid over stressing the feather at the very fine part. Uh, I could have done everything at the beginning, but this is not right. So I prefer to do this method. When you are here, you just stop the main feather, you trim. There's two ways of trimming, whether you go all around, like I'm doing now, or if you prefer to leave some to make the gills, mm. it's also possible. So you trim one time on top, one time on the bottom, and just make a little distance. On trim on an angle. Now. That's it, that's it. So next we are going to use a little bit more dubbing on the table and only one feather. And the idea is to have enough space in between the feathers, the fibers, that the legs are moving when you pull in the water. Um, for that, I like very much darker color for the for the legs. This will do the job. We do not need to have a big amount. Use maybe the small table like this, mm -hmm. and I will use only this portion here.
So now, split the sphere. There is another way of splitting the sphere is to make it flat on the nail and then to open it like this, like this. Yeah. Incorporate the element here. I will probably let them go a little bit more inside, not in the middle, but you know, a little bit more. Spin the bobbin order. And when you have enough, just go over. I just go like this, like nearly X, and come on the front. Then finish few wraps. Just behind the head, a couple of wood finish knot. And the work is almost done. We have a little bit too much, of course. So uh, three off on top, three off on the bottom. And then you may have long fibers here. What is nice with the CDC, you can just make it shorter by just pulling like this. Breaking them. Yeah. You will not ruin the pattern. And that's it. Nice, another fast fly.